Hi guys, Lisbeth here. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> I went through my house, picked up a few things from different rooms for the declutter. I've already taken one box load without showing you to the uh, to the Goodwill, so I definitely wanted to uh, show you more of my declutter. Declutter is one of my favorite videos to watch, and it is also one of my favorites to do. If you're new, please uh, hit that subscribe button. I do have another one more closet in my house that I got to clean out and then I want to do like a room by room shelf by shelf um, drawer by drawer I guess reveal uh, once I've finishing decl finished decluttering completely uh, so uh, hit subscribe and if you're new or old thanks for joining me again if you've been with me for a while I really appreciate it hit that notification bell with the new algorithm this is my hobby. It is not my job. I don't upload like three times a week usually. I might like in bursts, but so hit that notification bell so you for sure get my videos. I do not clickbait. My videos uh, definitely describe what I'm doing. Now I yak a lot so you might get more than what the thing says, but I don't do the, oh, am I quitting you know, YouTube? Oh, worst day ever, any of that stuff. I'm not a click baiter, so hit that notification. You'll know right away whether it's a video you're interested in watching. <sighs> Kitchen first. This is a very small cookie sheet. I don't know if the uh, size reflects on on camera. I've used it because I forced myself to use it. I don't care for it. I'm getting rid of it. This is my very last cookbook. I kept it in the last kitchen declutter. I've tried 16 recipes out of it, of which six made the grade. There are a lot more I would have tried, but I got that diverticulitis and beans, rice, and corn just caused me significant pain, so I don't eat those. But from the 16 I tried, which is three or four times the amount I've tried in other cookbooks I've had in the past, six made the grade for both my husband and I, and then I wrote them on three by five cards and then I probably dumped a few of those because they were so easy I don't need a recipe for them so there's my last cookbook here's my recipe box when I went through with what I actually used and needed to keep there were about 10 recipes and so I just put a rubber band around them and this entire box is goodbye I figure with the internet if I ever need a recipe I can certainly find it these are cool I got these from um, Skyline, they're Fiona. Um, I live close to Cincinnati, and Fiona's the hippo, popular hippo in the Cincinnati Zoo. When I got to go cups, they gave me these. I don't use the plastic cups, and especially ones without any lids. I got two new kittens. Well, they're four months old now, and their head is in the top of my drink if I if I don't have a lid on it. This is a lid that goes to a pitcher. Really, the pitcher broke. I kept the lid. Really? Really? Not anymore. Maybe somebody has the bottom with a broken lid and so would be happy to see that. This is Spider-Man. I got it at Dollar Tree. But I really didn't think, you know, they drink from the straw. It goes down here. I have no way to clean that. Maybe someone who's interested in using a pipe cleaner or something would clean that. I'm not. That's way too much work for me. Sippy cup. Uh, my youngest grandson is three. He doesn't use that any longer. He uses Big Boy Cup. And this I got for him, Baby Ducks. He loved this thing, but again, it's a sippy cup. He's uh, too old for that. From the playroom, I've got two pairs of girls' play shoes that uh, my granddaughter has grown out of. She's grown out of these quite a while ago. She's seven. But, so there's... Um, Two pair, they're heading off for some kid to play with. Couple earphones. I've got both my husband and I have an iPhone that we got the earphones with, and he has, or the earbuds with, and he has um, some actual headphones, noise canceling headphones, so someone might be able to use those. I have a DVD. I do really like Pierce Brosnan. But I find I just don't watch it any longer. And if I ever want to, uh, the library's just up the road. Got some jewel cases that are empty. I have, this will be the fourth I 
in the previous uh, donation, I had three calendars. This will be the fourth I'm giving away. Does anybody pay for calendars? I suppose if you want something specific. These are thongs. I don't know whether to donate them or not. A lot of people say, you know, don't do underwear. Then I've read stuff where, like, it goes really well because if you're too poor, you can't afford it. I don't know. Uh, LA Fitness. I don't really care for t-shirts. And we no longer have our membership. So, goodbye. These workout gloves that I used to use with lifting weights. They were like pretty tight when I first started with them and after multiple washings, they're just too tight for me. So someone might enjoy that. I went through my jewelry again and decided to pass on some more. One of them in here is Irish for a day. I'm not sure how well that's coming through the bag, but Irish for a day. I did Ancestry DNA. I'm 43% Irish. I don't need something proclaiming that when I already am. Extra sunglasses. A crazed sponge. A couple little toys that you get out of one of those vending machines where you put like 50 cents in or a quarter in. Hmm. This actually I use quite a bit, but it gets kind of hot. But so does my actual one from, it's an off brand, but so does my one from uh, Apple. So I'm not sure. I've heard things where you're not supposed to use off brands. They do get too hot and burn up your stuff, but um, it gets about the same heat. But I just bought an Apple one, so I don't need it. Okay, I have a lot. Oh, before I start that, I've got this Radio Shack um, calculator. I already have a calculator, plus, we got the phones we can use calculator on. Couple clips. Opera glasses, uh, I've actually taken them to places to try to see. They don't really work well for me. I have a hard time figuring out how to get them to focus. Uh, a mirror, I really like this, but it's getting some of this black stuff here where I can't really see through, but I figure someone out there knows how to clean that off. I've got two brown, um, these are... Pillowcases for body pillows. I am actually getting rid of those body pillows because they are flat. I don't know if we can see. I mean, they're like really super long pillows. They're flat and stained, and I don't use them anymore. So out they go. I've got a lot of different sticky notes type things, regular notepad type things. Um, I, do, I re recycled a lot of my extra notepads, but ones that I thought had enough paper on to, you know, apply where, that's a book, never mind, where, where people could actually, you know, have enough to use where there just wasn't one or two pieces of paper left. I decided to go ahead and donate those. I have a couple books, Gypsy Lord, that was pretty good, Your Best Life Now. This is large print. I do like it, but usually I just listen to, listen to it on my phone now. More stickies. Got a pen, couple pens and pencils. I like the pens that are fatter. They're easier for me to hold now. Um, 50 cent stamp. I think it's actually a real stamp, but I, if I have anything more than the regular, um, what is it now? 42 cent, heck, I don't even know what stamps are. Is a 50 cent stamp really what things are these days? Uh, I'm going to keep my stamp. I'll just stamp it on something. Nah, I won't. I'll give it away. Maybe somebody can use a 50 cent stamp. This I used to keep, like, gift cards and stuff in. I don't need it anymore. It's getting a little rough shape. I don't know, like, nice leather things like that, whether people appreciate it but it's a little rough shape let me know would you donate this item uh, it's basically kind of like a not a wallet like you put in your pocket but I don't know it's got like a zipper thing it's got places to put cards but it's nice leather but it's looking worn is that something you would donate let me know down below and if you want to that's it for the declutter if you want to hang on I'll show you, I just put my wedding dress on the wall and I'll give you a quick look at the last uh, space I have to do a heavy duty declutter on. So 
that's it for the declutter. I want to be very clear. If you're staying on, you know, this is my wedding dress. After 18 years, by the end of, the, end of September, it'll be 18 years. I finally got it up on the wall. I never put it in a dress coffin or, you know, had it uh, stored because I've just seen too many um, scary things where then people take it out of the box for their daughter or granddaughter and it's and it's a disaster you know a yellowed crease disaster so I put that on the wall for decoration I'm not that much into pictures anymore which is why I haven't done the last declutter as you see the upstairs tree is the, I bought it last December yeah it's September and it's still sitting out it used to be in the other room let me show you uh, why it's still sitting out I have a place to put it up here. I'm on the second floor of my home. Well, it's the first floor down there. But this is why it is not in this closet, which is the closet I have designated for the tree. It's been sitting out for nine months. There's lamps. There's, I, I, I don't even know what that is. Um, I must put it there recently because it's, I, I don't know what that is. Um, pictures, 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 more pictures, more pictures. Uh, some ornament stuff, some empty things. I kept a lot of empty containers until I got through decluttering my house to see what I needed. So this is where the tree and the ornaments for the tree go. And this is why it's still sitting in the other room. So this is the last main space where I have to do a lot of cleaning. I mean, I might have to clean out. I've already been through all the rest of my house. Now, I'm not saying I won't like open a door or shelf or a drawer and find something to declutter. But this is the last main space to declutter in my entire home. So looking forward to that. I will talk with you guys later. Bye.